to be able to just make a choice on your own and just be able to speak for yourself. This one's wife. Stay away from Britain. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Amanda Platel writes in the Daily Mail. It's just over a year since Prince Harry published his cruel memoir, Spare. In it, he portrayed his brother William as a violent bully and his sister-in-law Kate as a Stepford wife chosen because she fitted the raw mould, unlike his beloved wife, this one's wife. It was a painful experience for the Prince and Princess of Wales who had no right of reply to these horrible slurs. Worse was to come when Kate was named as one of the racist royals first alluded to in this one's wife and Harry's 2021 Oprah Winfrey interview after allegedly questioning the future skin colour of the Sussex's first child, Archie. Often seated alongside Harry during his attacks on his family was his calculating self-satisfied former TV actress wife, this one's wife, milking her in-law's personal drama while taking millions from Netflix and other paymasters. Now, we learn that with her popularity tanking in America, this one's wife plans to employ a PR guru in the United Kingdom to revive her standing here. All I can say is, good luck with that, as we, who love the royal family, know no one has caused more damage to the institution than this one's wife, still clinging on to her duchess title. Can she really be trying to reinvent herself in Britain while poor Kate recuperates at home after surgery and is not expected to appear in public before Easter at the earliest? It's nothing short of abominable. Only Kate's immediate family and closest aides know what truly aids her. But the constant attacks from Harry and this one's wife cannot have helped her stress and anxiety levels in recent years. So, if I had the miserable job of being the Duchess's PR advisor, handed the impossible task of rehabilitating her in a country she'd rejected, my message would be, stay away forever. Now, at the current time, this one's wife's narcissism causes her to remain away from the United Kingdom, as I've explained previously, because quite simply the UK is seen as too difficult to control, both in terms of the population, its media, and members of the royal family. Therefore, the narcissism evaluates that in order to try and control those individuals would require far too much effort be not necessarily blessed with success, and there's no upside. However, that balance may be shifting as a consequence of the fact that she's tanking in the USA, has possibly been advised that there's no real future for her there as a consequence of the fact that the relevant brands, cosmetic giants, etc. aren't expressing any interest, and therefore she needs to start doing things to try and rehabilitate her image to inveigle away back into the royal family and be liked in the United Kingdom. Ordinarily, after everything that she has done, all the things that she has said, and the way that she has behaved, most people would think, why on earth would you ever think that you would be welcome back in the UK after all of those things? And of course, a non-narcissist, albeit not engaging in such behaviour themselves, would realise It'd be pointless doing this because of the behaviours. But this one's wife compartmentalises. Her narcissism consigns what has occurred beforehand to the past, and it's only resurrected if it needs to be resurrected. She has no sense of conscience or remorse. She has no experience of guilt. So it's not as if she thinks to herself, you know, I feel a little bit reluctant about going back to the UK, you know, because I've treated them like shit. No, she actually thinks to herself... The reason I can't go there is because the press is racist, the population are racist, and members of the royal family are racist. They all hate on me unnecessarily, and it's not fair. This is what her narcissism tells her. However, 
Should the narcissism perceive that there are gains to be obtained, it then shifts the way that she thinks, that she believes that she can win people over, that the haters aren't as numerous as they once were, that if she presents this image of being a bananatarian, that the UK will swallow it whole. It demonstrates the ridiculousness of her deluded thinking. It is understandable that this commentator, Amanda Platel, would say, stay away, and it's likely to be the same view of many people. But what do those below the line think about it? Is there a shift in perspective that this one's wife might be able to exploit, or is it very much she's being told to stay away? Big ex Scott states, I can never forget or forgive them for their treatment of the late Queen and Prince Philip in the last years of their lives. Absolutely appalling. Remove their titles. Grits 403. America doesn't want her or him. That's from America. Samantha Sam, who's in Brisbane, no one wants them. Snow Goose 1984 offers, maybe Canada will take them, the poor Canadians. As we go, look what you did, Harry. You're the only one left who hasn't figured it out. Madge Esty. Apparently people being rude about her while pregnant is trolling and bullying, but when she does the same, it's her telling the truth. That demonstrates, of course, the hypocrisy of this one's wife. Cat Blue. Her never-ending ego. Res 4078820. If this one's wife went out in public here, she would be booed. Grant No Nonsense. Even when she blatantly backstabs her family and H's family, she still portrays herself as the victim, mind-boggling. Well, it is mind-boggling to many, but if you understand that she's a narcissist and the way that a narcissist behaves, by virtue of compartmentalization and blame-shifting, it would make sense. Missing Aussie. Her problem is not being able to recognise what's going on around her and refusing to accept or see the results of her actions, which, of course, as you know, is generated by her narcissism. You will never be accepted back in the United Kingdom. The lady. This one's wife doing her act of being the victim of everything whilst on the panel for International Women's Day is even more proof, if we all needed more proof, that she will never change. Anna Maria too. Amen to her never setting foot in the United Kingdom again. Shaking my head here. Can you just imagine the royal booing she'd get if she returned? Wokeness warrior. This is what pure greed looks like. Our queen was treated appallingly by this pair. Ditchwater Sal. She's probably anticipating Harry's visa removal under Trump's government and him being kicked out of the country. So needs a plan B. Keep it American. We don't want the orange olive oil either. Milky Way Earth. You notice how she uses darker or lighter makeup, depending on which card she plays? Anita Collins. How many more years can they make a living out of whining about her two years in the royal family? Unsurprisingly, no favourable observations about a return to the royal family or the United Kingdom. And so many other people similarly want her to stay away. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.